my name is Jan Welch, and welcome to the first episode of The Goods on the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. The Goods is going to be a pseudo news show that discusses new product releases. It's going to share Instagram posts that caught my eye, and I'm going to promote some YouTube channels and edits that you may or may not have seen before, but from around the globe that should be seen because they're pretty cool. The Goods is also a way for me to discuss what's happening here on the channel itself. So I'm going to talk about future interviews, products that I come up with for the channel, one of which is the coffee mug. It's got a little yawn on it, then an outblading. It's pretty cool, and you can drink your lattes. And uh, I'm going to talk about what's coming up next in the Vault series, which is my collection of VHSC Hi8 mini DV tapes throughout the years, where I talk over the footage, the raw footage, unedited, and go through the history of those sessions and the era. So those are pretty interesting shows. A lot of people like those. And I'm going to be doing new shows, so I'll have new show announcements on this show as well. Let me know what you think about this episode. Give me your comments, suggestions, ideas, any, like if you want to see other stuff. Give me ideas for shows you want to see. I have a lot of like knowledge and history and I have an archive of lots of stuff that I want to present. So, you know, I'm down to do as much cool stuff for you guys that you want to see. If you'd like this show and you like this channel, make sure and hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. Those likes and subscriptions really help me out. And, you know, if you haven't done it yet and you do watch this show regularly, make sure you support this show by doing that. The first thing I want to talk about is this channel. So I have a lot of interviews coming up that I've done in the past few days, and I have a few more coming up that are scheduled. The first one that I've done was with Montre Livingston, and that's going to come out next week. And it's a very interesting interview. We heavily discuss Icon, how he got on it, the history of our, the history of us, me and Montre, how we met, with, and then with Nim and talk about him skating professor for Chaya as a roller skater. Uh, we talk about his art, we talk about blading camp. We talk about a lot, and it's a very interesting interview, and make sure to, you know, like I said, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when that uploads. The next interview I'm doing is with Kevin Little, and Kevin Little is a Texas skater, been around for a long time. He does sick urethane, which was previously sick apparel, and he is the editor, current editor for BMAG. And he's also done the Donate and Skate series, and he did the Texas Skate series, and he's done a lot within rollerblading, and he loves the sport. After Kevin, I'll be talking to Justin Thursday, and Justin Thursday is a 3D printing guru. He has been posting all sorts of amazing images of 3D printed frames, 3D printed sidewalls, 3D printed sole plates, you know, footbeds, whatever, all sorts of stuff for inline skates and stuff for Solomons. Like, he's done a lot, and it's very cool and interesting what he's doing. And following Justin, we will be interviewing, or I will be interviewing, Sean Keen. And Sean Keen is an amazing skater, been around for a long time. And he just received a pro skate, finally, after all these years, from Rollwood. And it is the Sean Keen Beta Skate. The last interview that I have set up right now is with Jeremy Baytal. And Jeremy Baytal is a inline skating artist, long time. He is the creative mind behind all the 4x4 shirts that you grew up to love. And Casper is his brand. He does all the work for Chroma. You should know who Baytal is. If you don't, make sure to watch this interview. Watch this interview regardless. We talk about his history with the sport, his history with Rattel when we first met, him having a pro shoe from Sifica. Did you know that? Well, he did, and we will talk about that. So after these four interviews uh, premiere on the channel, I will be diversifying the interview process a little bit because right now it's mainly been aggressive skaters, and I want to add some flavor with urban skaters, distance skaters, speed skaters, slalom skaters, to, into the mix, just so you guys can find out more about different types of skating. And if there's any skaters that you want to see me interview in any discipline, including aggressive, leave that in the comments below. I want to talk about The Vault, episode five, feature skating from Mike Johnson, Bashi Pope, Dustin Halloran, Damian Wilson, 
and Nick Wood, and it was filmed in San Diego around 2002. And this tape is rare because it was actually filmed by John Elliott, and John Elliott was never really a filmer. You know, he shot photos. He shot a lot of photos when he wasn't skating, but I can't think of many times he filmed, and so this is a pretty rare thing for him to have filmed. What it did bum me out about this tape is <clears throat> he recorded over footage from a tape that I had from 2000 that had footage from Daily Break Quattro, so a lot of Carlos Pianowski footage and Shima, Haffy, so that footage is lost, which is a bummer, but there's some good footage on this tape, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and with all these episodes, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload them, because I'll be uploading stuff all the time, and you don't want to miss any of it, because it's all gold. Next up, I want to get into products. Now, a lot of products coming out right now is in the realm of skates themselves. We have this Royal Distribution, which came about several months ago now, and it's an old distribution from the 90s. It's a European distribution. It was the distributor for most American brands in Europe in the 90s. Now it's back, and it is out of Germany, and it has three brands under its umbrella. Currently, three brands. The most well-known, Gods from Frankie Morales. And Gods is the only brand right now under this Royal where you can actually get the skates in your hands. Frankie just received his shipment of the Frankie skate and the Tim Franken skate. So he is shipping those this week. So if you pre-order those, you will receive them soon and make sure to get them at stores because they will be shipping shortly all over the place. Icon is a brand I've been talking about in some of my shows and interviews because I've interviewed two Icon writers, Be Free and Chad Hornish. And Chad did just win the Texas Blade Classic yesterday, so congratulations to Chad for kicking ass at that contest, which you always do very well at. Icon has a huge array of products that they are gonna be releasing. I mean, right now they have frames out wheels, but they're doing frames for UFS, they're doing 165 mount, Trinity mount, they're doing aggressive frames, you know, free skating urban frames. They're doing aggressive skates. They're doing urban skates. They're doing a lot of products. They're going to have a lot of clothes, gear, like a lot of stuff for a new brand. It's pretty impressive, especially during COVID. So what you will expect is delays in skates. I know that they wanted a Christmas release, which my guess probably won't happen because of shipping issues and manufacturing and everything. But it will come out at least by the spring. And I know Icon will be releasing pro professional skates for each rider in the future. And each rider will also get a second collaboration skate that they can work with with another company. Um, another thing exciting about Icon is the AM team. Icon has a true AM team. Every one of their AM riders is under 18. And it's like how it used to be where the AMs are young, they kind of come up and they turn into pro skater. And, you know, Icon plans on turning their AMs into pros at some point. So it's a pretty cool brand. It's very diverse. You know, they have people from all around the world. They have a good mix of guys and girls. Um, Montre has done an excellent job with this team. The next brand under Destroyal, which I'm really excited about, is Mesmer. And Mesmer is fronted by Billy O'Neill. And it's got... Dominic Bruce on the team, it has John Bellino on the team, it has Mark Marino on the team, and it has Levi from Holland on the team. And this company really reminds me of a throwback to the Rat Tail years. The skate itself that they're releasing, it's a USD Throne boot. And the very first Rat Tail skate we made was a USD Throne that we licensed from Powerslide. And the sole plate on this Mesmer boot looks very similar to the Nim sole plate. So it definitely has these hints of, you know, rat tail. And then with the whole marketing and image of Mesmer, it reminds me of a very, like, kind of vicious -y. So, and, and part of it is three of the riders were on rat tail. You know, Mark Marino rode for Vicious, Nim. Bellino rode for Vicious and Nim. I mean, there's a connection there. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I see it and I really enjoy it. Like, it's I think it's a really cool brand, and I haven't been this excited about a brand in a really long time. And I look forward to seeing what they do, and I really want those shirts. Every one of those shirts, I want them. Mark Marino designed them. Awesome job. The team came up with ideas, and he 
enacted what they wanted. Also, Chase Rushing did the artwork on the bottom of the soul plates, and Chase Rushing is an awesome artist. You should follow him on Instagram. I have a link below. And I have links to everything I discuss in this episode will be linked below, so you can check it all out. Um, then the next skate, which has had a lot of talk in the past few days is the blank skate. The blank Sean Keen limited edition skate, only limited to 200 pairs this year. They come in three sizes, eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and 10, 10 and a half. So half sizes, full sizes are together. I have a 10 and a half foot, so I look forward to trying a 10 and a half skate sometime. The limited run will be available in stores in November, and after that, you have to wait till 2022 for a full size run. When in 2022? I do not know. The skates have blank frames on them. They have 60 millimeter hydrogen street wheels, twin cam bearings, and it's a very innovative design. They've spent years designing the skate and it's gonna be a really cool skate to try out. And just watching Sean Keen and the whole team, Rob G, all those guys skating right now, like they look badass. And real exciting announcement that I saw yesterday from Grant Hazleton is he's receiving a pro skate from Rossi's. And Grant, Congratulations, that is fucking rad. Very cool, like you deserve that. Your skating is top notch and you're a great ambassador for sport and for Rossi's and they are lucky to have you on the team. I look forward to seeing it on people's feet. Another skate that is being teased right now is a kid's skate and that's the USD Transformer skate for children. It comes in two sizes, an EU, European size 33 to 36 and European size 37 to 40. You're gonna have to look at the translations for that because offhand, I don't know it. But they're gonna have a Kaiser measure frame, 57 millimeter USD wheels on the outside and 100 egg grind wheels on the inside. So that's gonna be the perfect skate for your kids, you know? And then I wanna talk about them, which they don't have anything new per se, but they did release that uh, Brain Dead collaboration skate, which is like, so cool looking. I mean, that like tie dye look on the plastic, I mean, it looks rad. And I would, if I wasn't broke, I would love to buy a pair and I'm saving up money right now, so hopefully I will get some for myself soon. But they look awesome, and I think Julio has done a fantastic job. And speaking of Julio, he has Blading Cup happening soon. It's gonna be a huge event. He's opening his new Them store. He's just put some photos of the storefront up. The store looks really, really cool. Uh, like, good job, guys. You guys are killing it out there, and I love watching everything Julio and his crew have been doing in Santa Ana and for the sport and with the billboards. They're just killing it. Like, no one's killing it like those guys. Now onto wheels. There's a wheel brand out of Canada called Orange Wheel. You've probably seen their wheels. They have a new line. They have some new wheels. Two wheels I really enjoy from this line is the Charles Nantal wheel, which is a 59.92. And Charles has a new edit out on the Orange Wheel YouTube page, and it's really good. He lives up in Quebec. He's only two hours north of me. I'd like to go visit him maybe do an interview, uh, check out some of his spots, the parks, like really cool. And then Dominic Bruce has a 62, 92 millimeter wheel. And Dominic Bruce has always been one of my favorite skaters. Such a nice kid. Love that he's on Mesmer, all of his projects, very cool. And then what I really like from Orange right now is their sweater. And it's this Hang Loser collaboration sweater. And it's a white sweater. And like, I don't really even wear white, but this is a sweater I could definitely rock. Then Chroma has a new wheel they just released today. It's the China Weirstall wheel, and it's a 58 millimeter 88A. It's a bullet profile, so perfect for flat, anti-rocker. And again, the packaging and the wheel and the shirt designed by Jeremy Baytal. And like I mentioned earlier, Jeremy Baytal will have an interview coming up on this channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when that pops up. Then I'm gonna move on to frames and Create Originals dropped a new release. It's a gray and charcoal frame and it's available in skate shops or you can order it directly from them. Another cool skate frame sole plate is from Kaiser. It's a Kaiser L sole frame and it's based kind of off the um, USDA on the one piece sole and frame combination. And this is aluminum, it's 6061 aircraft aluminum, CNC machined with new element two aluminum H-block. And these are gonna fit four by 62 millimeter wheels. 
So it's gonna be a perfect flat setup. It's pre-drilled to fit any flat USD skates or Solomon skates. So all you Solomon guys out there are gonna get a very interesting option to try out. And I've never skated Aeons. I know people love them. And I haven't skated aluminum frames. The only thing aluminum I ever skated was Senate aluminum grind plates back in the day. And they were perfect on mini ramps and skate park. And I don't have any skate parks or indoor skate parks around here. If I did, I think these would be rad to try out, but I also don't have any skates that they would fit on. But it's a really cool product, interesting, definitely something new to the sport. Now I wanna talk about Instagram clips. And the Instagram clips are basically just clips from people I follow on Instagram that came into my feed and I'm like, oh, that's fucking rad. And one skater I really enjoy watching and following on Instagram is Nay from Austin, Texas. Nay skates a lot with Michael Kraft and Nay skated back in the day and quit for years and then came back about three or four years ago, started skating again. And it's just a really creative skater and does just, just fun to watch. Like it's a different type of skating. And here's two clips of Nay. One's a toe roll to AO Fish. And the other one is a hill roll on this mini ramp with a really narrow deck at House Park, skate park in Austin. Both clips are at House Park. And House Park is where I used to skate uh, three times a week back in Austin when I was there from 2012 to 2017. We used to have a Monday morning skate every Monday that rotated between 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. depending on the time of year. Summertime was the early time to go skate because it's too hot. But yeah, awesome park, awesome skater. Follow Nay on Instagram for some cool creative skating clips. The next clip is a hammer clip from Jake Dotson. And this is a kind of drop to top sole to gap trick. And it's badass. It reminds me of something I would have filmed in a, you know 2001 and put in a Daily Bread video. Like it was super cool. Jake props for doing that, such a rad trick. The next clip is of Leon Humphreys, and Leon Humphreys is a skater I filmed first time with in 1999. I believe it was the first video he was ever in, which was Last Call, and it, it's when I went to London. But this clip is him in London doing Alec Mizu on a ledge, and then walking across some bike racks and 360 wall ride out, and it's super cool. And the next trick is from Swim Buchhurst. It's filmed with a 360 camera, which I'm a bit mixed. I think 360 cameras are great for certain types of skating and making small things look big and and this is a big kink trail with a 360 camera and it like I think it looks really cool and but it's also a little distorted so I'm a little mixed but I like this clip so that's why it's here so check it out and let me know what you think about filming with 360 cameras next one is try Rudolph if you follow his skating he's very creative he does tricks no one does he makes up weird stuff. He does all sorts of cool, weird shit. I mean, it's awesome. And some of it's a little sketchy and scary looking. So, but this is probably his most uh, traditional trick that he's posted in a while. And it's a Christ fast slide on a box. And Christ fast slide, I don't know if I've seen too many of them, especially on a flat box. That's pretty gnarly. Like maybe some Christ backslides or Christ macchios, Christ fish, but Christ fast slide on a box, that's pretty gnarly. So that's my wrap up of the Instagram posts that kind of caught my eye recently. I want to go over a couple YouTube channels and clips. And the first channel I want to talk about is John Lee. And John Lee is a skater filmer from the UK, from London. He made a lot of cool edits and videos throughout the years. He's kind of been laying low for a while, but he just posted a new video on his YouTube page of Joe Atkinson called London. And this was filmed between 2018 and 2020 in London between Joe's travels and features him skating at parks all across, at skate parks all across London. And it's really badass. And if you're a fan of John Lee already, you know he's a great editor. So go ahead and check out this edit. Subscribe to John's page. He only has like 200 something subscribers. Like that's not right. Follow him, subscribe. Um, the next YouTube channel is, this is Skate Sam Ghana. And Sam is a skater from Ghana in Africa. And his newest video is him skating on a mini ramp using a tri-skate setup and it's pretty cool like he has a lot of edits on his uh channel from aggressive skating to urban skating to big wheel blading and it just features him and skaters from ghana so it's pretty cool to see skating in that part of africa which you might have not seen before so go ahead and subscribe to his channel and follow him and 
you know, support the scene out there. Um, the last video I'm going to talk about today is a documentary, and this was released by Skate Terminal on YouTube, and it's a documentary of the Big Apple Roll. And the Big Apple Roll is a three-day skating weekend experience in New York City that happens every year. It's been happening for a long time. And this year is the biggest turnout they've had possibly ever, um, at least since maybe, you know, early 2000s, 90s. And this documentary covers all the different skates that happened during the weekend, and it interviews some of the organizers and people who were on it. And it's very interesting look at the New York skate scene. And I recommend checking it out, and I recommend like going to an event like this in the future if you enjoy skating with big groups and urban skating and checking out cities. They have these skates in Boston, they have them in Miami, they have them in Washington DC, they have them in LA. You know, look for these social group skate weekends online. Like they're pretty rad. And I'll try to post links to most of them below as well so you can check it out. So anyway, that's everything for the first episode of The Goods. I hope you enjoyed this format. Please let me know what you think. Like this is the first one, so I'm just kind of freestyling it. If you have any like comments or suggestions or suggestions of content you want to see in the future or things I should change, let me know. Um, I want to you know, make these interesting and relevant, so let me know. And if you do like this, make sure and hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the bell icon to be notified of all new uploads. Like I said before, those subscriptions and likes really help me get this channel moving and cr helping me create more content in the future. And make sure to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at then and now blading, links are below. If you do want to support the channel, make sure to visit the Patreon link below. Like I said before, supporters will receive exclusive content through the Patreon. And there's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff for you to check out in the future. And I also have a donate button if you want to go that route. And don't feel obligated. This is this channel is for you all to enjoy, and it's a pleasure for me to make. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next episode of The Goods on the Then and Now Blading YouTube channel. Take care.